is your betta fish's color fading or you just want to make sure that your betta fish look at its best either way in this video i will share with you five tips to improve your betta fish's color i have saved the most unique one for the last so make sure to watch the video till the end with that being said let's start the video feed varied high quality diet betta fish are carnivorous so they need protein rich meaty diet for their proper growth and development besides you will also need to feed them a variety of foods so that they can get all the nutrients that they need for their proper growth and development if your betta fish is not getting all the nutrients then it may start to lose its color on the other hand if you are consistently providing all the nutrients that your betta fish needs then it will help to improve your betta fish's color you can feed high quality fish foods such as pellets and freeze dried foods to your betta fish i will make sure to put links to all the high quality fish foods you can feed to your betta fish in the description of this video besides fish food you can also feed live food to your betta fish and arguably live food is the most nutritious food you can feed to your betta fish but the drawback with live food is that it also carries a risk of transferring harmful bacteria and virus in your fish tank so if you want to feed live food to your betta fish just make sure to get it from a reputed source i know feeding betta fish can be a little tricky and specifically it can be very tricky to know how much food you should be feeding to your betta fish that's why i have already published a detailed betta fish feeding guide video on my youtube channel so i will make sure to put the link to that video in the description of this video so you can easily check it out keep your betta fish tank clean to improve your betta fish color you will need to make sure that you are keeping your betta fish in a clean environment and to provide clean environment to your betta fish you will need to keep up with the regular maintenance of your fish tank this means that on a weekly basis you will need to do water change the most important reason to do water change on a weekly basis is that it helps to reduce the nitrates level in your fish tank high levels of nitrates can be deadly for your betta fish that's why it is critical to dilute nitrates level in your fish tank on a weekly basis exactly how much water you should be changing in your fish tank really depends on how much nitrates actually build up in your fish tank throughout the week that's why it is very important to test your aquarium water on a weekly basis to know exactly how much nitrates build up in your fish tank on a weekly basis you can easily test your aquarium water for nitrates using an aquarium water test kit like api master test kit i have already published a video on my youtube channel showing you how to test your aquarium water for nitrates using api master test kit so i will make sure to put the link to that video in the description of this video so you can easily check it out besides weekly maintenance you will also need to do a monthly cleaning of your fish tank in monthly cleaning first of all you should test your aquarium water for nitrates and ph and make sure that the nitrates are under control that is ideally below 20 ppm and the ph is within the ideal range which is 6 to 7.5 again you will also need to do water change in your monthly cleaning you will also need to clean your aquarium filter on a monthly basis besides if you are keeping live aquarium plants in your fish tank then you will need to trim the live aquarium plants and remove any dead leaves from the fish tank on a monthly basis also on a monthly basis you will need to clean your ornaments and scrub off the glass walls of your fish tank maintain ideal water parameters in your betta fish tank betta fish needs specific water parameters in their fish tank for their proper growth and development if the water parameters in your fish tank are not within the ideal range then this stresses the betta fish and it may start to lose its color that's why you should always make sure that the water parameters in your fish tank are within the ideal range that the betta fish needs which means that the temperature of your aquarium water should be between 75 to 80 degree fahrenheit or 23 to 26 degree celsius if you live in a colder region and to maintain stable water temperature in your fish tank you will need to install an aquarium water heater that has built in thermostat this will ensure that your fish tank always have the temperature within the ideal range that the betta fish needs i will make sure to put the link to the recommended aquarium water heater which has built in thermostat in the description of this video so you can easily check it out you will also need to make sure that the ph of the water in your aquarium is between 
between 6 to 7.5 now when it comes to the ph of aquarium water the stability of the ph is very important that is the ph of your aquarium water should not be constantly fluctuating you will also need to make sure that the ammonia and nitrite level in your fish tank is zero and the nitrates are below 40 ppm ideally below 20 ppm if your fish tank is properly cycled then your fish tank should not contain any ammonia and nitrites but nitrates will build up in your fish tank and the only way to remove nitrates from your fish tank is to do water change on a regular basis besides these water parameters you will also need to make sure that your fish tank has sufficient oxygen because betta fish needs dissolved oxygen to survive in a fish tank one easy way to always make sure that your fish tank has sufficient oxygen is to install an air pump in your fish tank now one important thing you should keep in mind when it comes to choosing air pump for your fish tank is that the air pump must be quiet because you will need to keep the air pump on all the time and if the air pump makes a lot of noise then it can be very irritating i will make sure to put the link to the quiet air pump in the description of this video so you can easily check it out avoid stressing your betta fish to improve the color of your betta fish you will need to make sure that you are providing peaceful environment to your betta fish if you are keeping male betta fish or if you want to keep male betta fish then you will always need to make sure that you are keeping only a single male betta fish in a fish tank this is because male betta fish can be very aggressive towards each other and if you keep multiple male betta fish in a same tank then they will fight with each other like crazy and eventually one of them will die and you should keep a single male betta fish in minimum 5 gallon tank it is especially important to keep a single male betta fish in a 5 gallon tank if you are a beginner because in a larger tank water parameters don't fluctuate very quickly and also nitrates don't build up quickly in a larger tank that's why i always recommend to beginners to get a 5 gallon tank minimum for a single male betta fish if you want to keep multiple betas together then you can keep multiple female betta fish in a same tank but again in that case you will need to make sure that you are providing them sufficient space in the tank which means that you should keep three female betta fish in at least a 10 gallon tank besides keeping betas together if you want to keep any other species of fish with your betta fish then you will always need to make sure that you are keeping suitable tank mates with your betta fish this is very important because if you put other species of fish which is known to nip on fins then it will harm the fins of your betta fish which can lead to bacterial infection in your betta fish some of the suitable tank mates for betta fish includes cori catfish neon tetra autosynclus catfish african dwarf frog bristle nose pleco chili rasbora add tannins in your fish tank this is the unique tip i was talking about in the beginning of this video to make your betta fish stands out in your fish tank you should add katappa leaves or natural driftwood in your fish tank which produces tannins in your fish tank and what tannins does is that it darkens your aquarium water which makes your betta fish look vibrant and stands out in fish tank besides there are a lot of benefits of tannins in your fish tank for example tannins protects your betta fish from fungal or bacterial infection one thing you should keep in mind if you are planning to add katappa leaves or natural driftwood in your fish tank which produces tannins is that tannins also lower the ph of your aquarium water so if the ph of your aquarium water is already low then you should avoid putting katappa leaves or natural driftwood in your fish tank however on the other hand if the ph of your aquarium water is higher than the ideal range that betta fish needs then in that case adding katappa leaves or natural driftwood in your fish tank is a great way to lower the ph of your aquarium water you can easily purchase katappa leaves or natural driftwood from amazon i will make sure to put the links to it in the description of this video so you can easily check it out so these were the five tips to improve your betta fish color throughout the video i have mentioned some helpful videos as well as i also recommended some products so i will make sure to put the links to all of them in the description of this video so you can easily check it out i hope you found this video helpful if you do please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching happy fish keeping